Hello. Um, I want to show you how we um, how, how to kind of go about the basic setup. And I thought this was just probably going to be easier. So we will find out if I can pull this off. Um, so you're going to, once you go to roll 20, create a login, I'm going to assume you've been able to do that. You're going to see games, um, the games that you're in. And once you find the game that you've been invited to, um, you've clicked the link and are able to launch the game. You click launch game. And it's going to take a minute to load and your screen will look slightly different than mine. Um, <clears throat> but the first thing that you're going to want to do as soon as the game loads, you won't see this like little page toolbar. And some of these things will look a little different because um, I'm on a GM screen. So you're going to, after the dragons have hatched, all right, you'll see what we call a splash page. This is a landing page. Um, once you have character tokens, this is where they will be. And you're going to go up here to the settings button. And on your settings, you can put your display name. What I recommend doing is once you know your character name, you change that to that. Um, I'll take the E off because it's kind of unnecessary. Hit your save name button. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you, for video and audio chat options, have none selected. You don't want um, to use the audio and video here or we'll get weird feedback when you go into Discord. So your audio, um, and then it's going to reset and reload uh, without the audio video. Um, once it does that, there's one other tr little trick in the settings I'll show you. Wish I could move this. Okay, the other thing you're gonna be you're gonna do is um, for player avatar size. Now I have a picture uploaded in mine. Um, so if you it's automatically it goes to large. So you're gonna see all these people and all these random images, and that's a very old picture. Um, you want to put it to names only so it kind of declutters the screen. The other thing uh, that I want you to do is um, you're going to go to this. It looks like a newspaper. That's your journal. And that is where you can click on your character. Um, I'm going to pick on Jordan. Um, and you'd go into this character mancer. And you'll start that. Looks like she already did. So I'm going to pick on somebody else. I'm going to pick on Rob because I know he's not in here. Um, character sheet. You're going to click on use the character mancer and it'll walk you through um if i'm around i'm happy to walk you through that okay last thing i'm going to show you is um discord so once you've downloaded discord and you've launched the app and you're all signed in um this is sort of the home page shows any of your friends feel free to add me problem with that and then below that there's this almost invisible line where you can see your servers that you've been invited to if you're already in Discord, you know how to do this, but um, so this is all we're going through towards the end. So if you get Discord, you can shut it off now. Go to Exploring Barovia, which is our server. It will open you up and start you in general chat. In general chat, you cannot, uh, you, you won't have any voice. You just are able to text chat down here. You can write whatever. You can also drop images, files, um, anything you'd like. Uh, this is uh, one of our player characters who sent me an image of what he wants to look like in game. So I was able to already upload that. Um, when you're ready to have voice on, you go to the general voice channel. Um, and it's you still are able to, to chat in the general, um, or if we're in Sunday game or Monday game, but you'll be able to click on that. Uh, you can see it says voice connected. Um, mute yourself, hit mute. And uh, once you're out of game, you just hit disconnect. Pretty simple.